This is going to be get ready a with me slash first impressions video on my bare minerals um, original foundation. Um, if you guys want to see how I got this look with my huge ass pimple on my face, um, you guys stay tuned. And oh, don't you see the lippy that I'm rocking though? Like, ee, I love these lips. Okay, this is gonna be a very long video, so I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you guys like the video. And stay tuned, all right? Love you guys. So I'm going to um, get some product. But before I do, I'm going to show you guys my face so you can see where all my problems are on my face. I have a pimple right there. Um, I have a couple of, like, acne marks on the side of my face. It's actually getting better. It used to be worse. Um, and over here, too. Yeah. It's actually getting a lot better because I've been using this... I know it's going to be kind of weird, but I've been using this item on my face. I've been using the A&D ointment on my face, and it's been helping with, like, lightening up my skin tone and also, like, helping with, like, the pimples on my face. Um, I just started using this, like, about a week and a half ago, and it's done, like, complete miracles on this face. But this pimple was, like, huge before, and it's already brought it down, so I'm just like, yes! Okay, back to talking about this. So, I'm going to get some on the back here, and it's going to look like that. So, that's how it looks. So, I clipped up my hair. Weave. <laughs> Don't you guys hate it when people say, like, oh, my God, like, uh, my hair is in my face. I'm like, girl, that's a weave that you have in your hair. But, okay, yeah, I guess it's your hair, too. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to use the brush, and I'm going to swirl it in. Oh, sorry. I'm going to swirl it in. Tap it off a little. And then I'm going to start working it into my skin. So I'm just going to like blend it in like that. And if I'm looking on the side, it's because I have my mirror here. It's my pink cute little mirror. And I'm just going to blend it in. I am in love with the finish of this powder. Like it doesn't give off a like, oh my God, powderness. Like, you know, it's like, it's like kind of matte. But it has like a nice, like glowing finish to your skin. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just so delicious. Like I love it. And honestly, you don't need too much to cover it, cover your face. So I'm in love with this product. Oh, I didn't even say what color I'm in. Sorry, I always do this. I'm in the color uh, medium dark N40. I've try I tried warm the warm dark, and that one is a little bit pink. So it didn't really look that good on me. But this one is like a natural a, a neutral color. Like it's not too yellow. I'm going to I'm going to get some more, okay? It's like a neutral color and it doesn't look too yellow and it doesn't look too um pink. So that's why I love this. So I'm just going to get some more. As you can see, I still have some over here. I'm just going to blend it in. And I love the coverage. The coverage is, I would say, a medium coverage. And it blends, like, seamlessly into your skin. Like, it's just, like, honestly, I'm not changing this foundation. I am in love with this. This feels, this feels so nice. Like, it doesn't feel like I have anything on at all. It's just giving, an, I'm getting more. Sorry, I'm getting more. And it's just, like, it's just so, like, glowy like I love it like it looks so good I'm just getting some more and I'm blending it out and it just it just blends like I'm in love with this and then keep in mind that I don't have any sort of primer on all I put on was my A and D ointment like I love that because it works as a moisturizer and a primer so I just I just put that on my face and yeah and I like the finish that I get like the primer well the a and d ointment does to my face because usually my forehead never looks like this type of smoothness like yeah I got a couple of like pimples there but I never get this type of like finish like it's kind of like a nice glow 
and with the powder foundation on top of it like oh my god it just it just blends in like I can't get over this this is completely gorgeous okay okay yeah and it just it blends sorry for my hair weave <laughs> it just blends into my neck like completely like perfect like where has this been like honestly I'm about to start raving about this product because this thing is honestly like it's just oh my god it's just awesome. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with um the elf cream liner I have it in the color what color is this brown I mean coffee I mean I just picked it up a few days ago I am in love with this oh my gosh I'm in love with this product because before I used to use um the Maybelline New York Eye Studio in the color brown. It's this. And this one was just perfect. I never used like cream eyeliners for my brows. But then when I used that, it was perfect. And I had like really dark hair at the time. So it was like okay for me to use that. But like, you know, this hair is like, it's still kind of dark. And my own hair is a little bit dark. But it's a little, like, it has a little hint of brown. You can't really tell. But like, um, it's more like a dark brown. So when I was using the other one, using the other one, it just, my eyebrows just looked way too black. So I like using this one because it's like a dark brown, but it has no type of like undertone. It's like a neutral undertone. So I really like that. Cause don't you guys be like, I don't know if I'm the only one that notices, but like when other people, they fill in their eyebrows with like, you know, say like a, a pencil or something, like one of those like wet and wild pencils or like something else. Like, it kind of gives off, like, a weird, like, red undertone. Like, it looks really, really weird. So I'm just like, eh, I don't want to look like I have red-brown eyebrows. No, thank you. That's kind of weird. Don't want that. So, yeah, my eyebrows are looking a little bit overdrawn. But then I blend it out a little. And I am no pro at doing brows, you guys. Sometimes they look like, you know, like, they they just, they're looking so delicious. And then, like few maybe I'll do it again like the next day and it just like looks completely like a mess it just looks like like girl what the hell are you doing with your brows like that's that, that's what it looks like and it's probably gonna look like that today because it looked good yesterday but watch it like look completely crappy let me not let me not say that okay so um yeah this is gonna be such a long video but I don't care. I kind of feel like I should make a video where I'm talking with you guys because I haven't really put up a video like that in a while. I haven't done a Jenny one-on-one -on -one video since I was in school. Like, I recorded one, but I haven't put it up yet because I'm not sure if it's something I want to put it up yet. But it has to do with... Oh my god, girl. Do you see this? <laughs> I'm like, look, like, okay. I'll fix it up. Don't worry, I'll fix it up. <laughs> That's what concealer is for. Just don't be looking at me like, Jenny, don't, don't you see your face? Huh? Uh, look at you now. Look. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm using um, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer, and this is in the color N678. Um, It's... It's pretty light, but I like it because it blends in, like, perfectly. Like, I love this concealer. And I'm also using um, an eyeliner brush by Precision Beauty. Yeah. I think my sisters are getting mad at me because I'm supposed to be going to ShopRite with them. They're like, girl, hurry up. Like, you're taking too, taking too long with this video. But I just want to do this for you guys really quick. So you see how it just kind of just like fix up the brows a little. Don't worry, I'm going to do the top a little too. I usually do not put like a um, a lighter concealer on top of my brows. Like before I used to just fill in my brows. I mean um, clean up my brows with like a skin tone concealer. But once I started using this concealer, like yeah, it, it will seem a little bit light. But then it blends into your skin. Like that's why I love this concealer. Because, like, yeah, like, see how it kind of gives it, like, a oh, my God, halo effect? And then, like, once you blend it in to your skin, it just disappears. So you just have, like, that nice, crisp, clean look. 
but you don't see like the halo effect that it other people get so that's why I like this concealer and I don't know I used to like fill in my brows really really thin and now I've been doing it like really really big so I need to kind of stop that I really need to stop that because I don't know I'm just I'm like seeing what other people do with their brows and I'm just like yes I love that yes and then like I start doing it on me and I'm like oh my god I love it and then like you know I take a picture and I look at it I'm like like why does it look like I have like Drake eyebrows on like what the hell so yeah just continuing continuing blending and like it just blends just perfectly that's why I'm just in love with this you guys it's so delicious okay yeah you see like even though it's a little bit light it still looks good <laughs> or maybe I'm just thinking that who knows so if I get dislikes okay but um yeah I'm just gonna be I'm just being honest with you guys like I don't know I don't know how to do makeup I don't know how to do anything I just do whatever you know I like this one's like that and that one's like Ooh. I got a new blush yesterday so I definitely want to try that today so you guys are gonna see how that looks And I also got a blush brush too, so I'm really excited to try on both of these because, like, oh, yeah, it's by e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm using a Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio blush. It's a cream blush, and it's in the color Plums Up. It's this little thing. I was trying to look for um, a dupe for the MAC Raisin, and I went all over the place trying to look for something that was, like, a brownish, reddish type of color, and I couldn't find one. And, like, you know, like, I was trying to search for the one, like, they had ones from NYX. They had one from, like, Le, Le Femme or something like that. And then I was just, like, I was, like, oh, I cannot find it. And then I found this thing when I was just, like, looking in the blush sections for, like, every single place. And then I found this one. So, oh, before I do this, I'm going to do my contour. Like, usually when I have on blush, I like to put on a, a slight contour. It's just ever so slightly. And since I'm using a blush brush, this is going to be even better, a better contour for me. But I'm trying to look for an angled brush, but I don't, I thought e.l.f. had one. That's what I was looking for, but oh well. I'll just use their blush brush for now until I've, until I go and um, get um, an angled brush from somewhere else. So, okay. So there's the contour. It's like ever like very very slight contour. I don't like anything extreme. And I used um the Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Ebony. You guys, if you guys watch like what's her name? Um Dollface Beauty, she's always using this powder. And like, you know, I never really watched her before, but I was always using this powder to do like the contour and then I saw she had it. She had it in her video. I was like, girl I use the same thing too but she uses it in a different color though but like I love I love this I love that pressed powder it's just it's perfect and it stays on all day now to use the blush oh, I'm so excited so I'm just gonna put it like on top of like the contour I'm just gonna put it like right up here and like it's picking it up kind of pink but it's not pink at all it's like a brownish red mauve color that's like the color of it and I don't I used to put it all the way to like my cheekbones I mean to, to my cheeks the apples on my cheeks but I don't really do that anymore I don't really like that look so I just do it like to the side and then bring it down a little yeah and I'm trying to avoid my pimple my pimple is just like hey come and put some product on me and I'm like no <laughs> I don't want you to grow any bigger <laughs> so I'm just blending it in Honestly, this brush is okay. I wish it was a little bit harder. It's, yeah, I don't really like it. I'm going to blend it with my um, e.l.f. powder brush. I like this brush. This brush, everybody has this brush. I love this brush. I said brush like 15,000 times just now, but okay. Okay, so that's how it's looking. I think I'm going to bring it up a little. Because I like when it's like kind of just like sitting like right on your cheeks. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm blending in. I'm just like kind of like blending it in and then kind of patting it and blending it. Because I like it where it's just like kind of sitting like right there and it kind of gives a nice glow. This color is gorgeous. I'm in love with this. This might be my new favorite. Okay. So I'm going to do one, one upon mascara. Oh, this is the um, Femi Culture Monster Lash Mega Volume Mascara XXL. It's a red one. You get this from Sally's. So I'm just going to slap these on my little baby lashes because I got no lashes. Okay. And I think I'll do um, a brown lippy today because I'm also going to be recording a video. Um, yeah, it's a back to school video. Um, back to school series. And I'm using um, the Jordana Quick Liner for eyes. Oh, it's for eyes? That was for lips. <laughs> 09 Coco. It's this little thing. And uh, yeah, I like this. This I was going to use for my brows and it came out very like kind of like brownish red. And it just looked a mess. I was like, ew. No. <laughs> no. I was like, no. So I just use it to line my lips or do like brown lips. Cause I've been loving the, sorry, but I've been loving like the brown lips look like, oh my god, I've been loving that. And then like, what's her face? Kylie Jenner. What the fuck? Yeah, Kylie Jenner. I have been loving like her look. Like her little like, it's like a brownish, reddish tint to her lip. And it's like, you know, she overdraws it. And then, like, you know, the nice big lashes with her delicious eyebrows. And then, oh, my God, like, the contour and everything. I'm just like, yes, yes. Sorry, my nose is, like, runny. <laughs> Sorry. All right, and I'm just like, yes, girl, you better work. Yes. And I'm just like, you go. Like, oh, my God. Yes, Kylie. Yes. You're giving me so much life. That 90s type of look. Definitely like it. So I'm definitely gonna be rocking a lot of these like in the fall. Okay, so I'm like, gonna um pawn just a little lip gloss. I'm using a Sally Girls one. You know, it's just something to kind of throw on. Like the bare minerals is just like a nice like nice glow. You know, it's a little bit matte, but not too matte. Like it's like a natural semi-matte not semi-matte it's like just glowy you know it's very glowy like it looks natural and my brows are just I guess they're looking good are they you guys tell me I don't think they are <laughs> um my lippy I'm loving the lippy dark lips like I love dark lips I'll still dark wear dark lips even when it's sunny outside like now it would have a Okay, and um, yeah, my lashes, just simple lashes, and this blush. This blush is like the best blush. I am in love so with So I hope this. you guys liked my get ready with me talk through type of thing. I'm, I, like, I just really miss talking to you guys. Well, talking to a camera, which makes it seem like I'm talking to you guys, but I definitely, like, I liked it. I definitely want to do more of these because I'm just silly and I'm weird. Okay. So um, I'll see you guys all in my next video. It's definitely going to be the back to school, the back to school one. I'm going to be starting a, a complete new series um, until I go to school. So I hope you guys liked it, like my weird self because I'm just completely weird. Okay. So yeah. So you guys have an awesome day. I love you guys. Stay blessed and see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!